guys. Today we're talking about the new Wilderness Systems Attack 120 and a really quick overview of what the differences are between the 120 and the 140. Take both the kayaks onto the water and see what the differences are. But it's just going to be about the basic facts of how they each ride and handle. So with the 140, it's slower to get going, but it does get up to the glide quicker and easier than the 120 does. The 120, uh, being shorter, um, doesn't track as well, although it is good. And you can see the bow moving around here a little bit more. Um, but ultimately, this makes the 140 a better craft over longer distances if you're paddling. The 140 is also quicker than the 120, but the 120 also it wins out in maneuverability, as you would expect. It turns easier and you can stop it quicker. If you want information on the uh, dimensions of the boats, I've got that listed on my first video. As a standing platform, paddle boarding, uh, they're both very similar, although the 120 is much easier to manoeuvre. So turn, um, either going forwards or backwards when you're standing or when you're sitting. If you're, um, when you're fishing, if you're standing and casting, uh, sight fishing, um, they're both really, really good platforms for this. And I've got to admit, I can't really pick much of a difference in them here. Both shed the wind very, very well. Although, the uh, particularly if the seats are down, but the 120 does have a tendency to get turned around by the wind easier than the 140 does. Sitting and casting, similar to standing. Um, very, very little difference as far as I'm concerned. The 140's hull though, does seem to be quieter in the water, especially at very slow speeds. Um, and if there's not a lot of other noise around, you can notice uh, um, some splashing noises coming from the chines at the front of the 120. However, I did notice that if you play around with the trimming of the 120, it does tend to quieten this down, although I didn't manage to get it to completely go away. really really good kayaks they're each targeting a different area um, and uh, as a fishing kayak they're both both at the top of the top of the class for that sort of thing um, you're not really going to go wrong with either one but you probably want to think hard about the type of water you fish before you buy one